showing you my 1969-ish uh, economy Jim Dandy 1216 or 1612, whichever one you want to call it. So here's uh, one of my newer purchases. It's a complete barn find. Been sitting in a barn for 10 years. Pulled it out. She's leaking um, fuel out of the uh, glass fuel bowl. You can see it drip. Um, but that's going to get fixed pretty quickly. So I just want to show it to you guys. As you can see in here, it runs and drives. Um, this is a 1612 or a 1216. I've heard it both ways. 12 horsepower Cola motor, 16 inch rear wheels. Uh, this one has the optional hydraulic lift. I got a uh, side discharge mower, or rear discharge mower deck, whatever the hell this thing is. Uh, I got a mower deck with it. It also has the rear implement lift, which is awesome. I need to hook up the brakes still. That's my next thing on the uh, on the list. I just got done uh, doing a little bit of cleaning up on it. I think she's looking nice. So, yep. Economy all gear drive Jim Dandy. Uh, I got a couple of spare front axles. If you guys saw my video earlier in the year, um, I got another one of these that's a um, 1614 Jim Dandy, and it is painted green and white for some unknown reason. But my only plan to this is to paint the rims um, gloss black, pull the mower deck off, fix the brakes, and probably put some of my Brindley attachments on the back here. Yeah, this is a positive ground tractor. It's really cool. Uh, these are like 31 inch tall tires. Um, they're pretty close to my 35s on my truck. So one of the things that really drew me to this tractor is actually how the hood opened. Um, also, if you guys don't know about these machines, that is the factory L gas tank. Really weird looking, but it is factory. There's the starter generator. That's another cool, that's a cool thing they did on that. Put the starter generator and uh, run it off, run, uh, ran it off the, uh, the back of the motor. Save on uh, cutting, you know, cutting a bunch of shit out of the grill. Uh, I think this is about a 69. Somebody's gonna be able to confirm or deny that. Um, I just don't know. I'm gonna look into it. Um, but the hydraulic lift works. Here's the lever for it. Uh, that's down and that's up, I believe. Yep, no, that's down and that's up. Um, get in there, you can see the, uh, oh, see the uh, VIN number. Uh, came out of, this says Danbury, Connecticut, but I got it, um, I got it in Mystic, Connecticut, um, if you guys know where that is, um, but, so, I mean, yeah, you can see positive ground right there, uh, there's the hydraulic lift cylinder, um, on my, uh, power king with the loader, I wish I had done a video on that, the cylinder is actually right here, and the tank was back there for the hydraulics and all that stuff, so, it's kind of cool how they have this set up. Um, it could use a little bit more cleaning, but I think it's pretty good for now from the way I got it pulled out of the barn. Original seat, got some tears, um, but I'm not super worried about it. I'm not going to complain. It actually looks pretty good. Overall, this is a nice little tractor, and I just want to do a quick little overview of it. This is no, by no means a comprehensive review or a full review, just an overview. Um, but uh, the, another thing I got to fix is when people getting on and off of it, they grab onto the uh, steering wheel. It gets that all nice and loose. The clutch makes a little bit of noise, but it's nothing to worry about as of now. Yep, I'll just show you. She fires up and 